hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created our spring boot project and we connected our project with my sql db and we created our user class as well in today's video we will set up our angular project and we will install a ui library called angular material and then we will create the required modules and basic components so let's get started i am in one of my folder uh, let's open our terminal here and to create a new angular project we need to write ng new and then our project name for project name i am giving e-commerce and then web after entering this command you can click on enter and this will create a new angular project first of all it is asking that if i need angular writing so i will choose yes here because we need to create a different pages and different routes in our application after this it is asking for style sheet format so i will choose scss now it will install the required npm uh, packages i will get back to you after the installation as you can see our npm packages installed successfully now let's close this uh, terminal and we got a new project folder here let's open this in vs code so as you can see i opened the project in vs code now let's click on terminal and then new terminal and write ng serve to run our angular application as you can see our project is up on 4200 let's copy this url and let's go to any browser and try to hit this url upon hitting this url you will see the basic screen of angular and this means that our project is working fine now let's install the angular material ui library to install the angular material you can go to material.angular.io and here you can find the command to install the angular material let's uh, copy this and let's go back to our project and let's click on this uh, terminal and new terminal and paste the command and hit enter now this is asking one question that it found 15.2.9 version of the angular material and it is asking for the permission to proceed so we can just type here yes and we can hit enter now uh, this will install the required packages now as you can see our uh, packages got installed uh, successfully and this is asking us to pick a theme so we will go with indigo pink to choose a theme you can hit enter and uh, the next question is about a uh, typography style and we can choose yes here and for angular animations module we can choose include and enable animations now uh, this is updating our package.json and you can see our angular material installation is completed let's uh, close this uh, terminal and let's open the source folder and then app folder and then copy paste one file here so this file is demo angular material module.ts and here i imported all the modules which we will use in our project now let's copy the name of the file and let's import this in our app.module.ts after importing let's save this file 
After importing the angular material module, let's test if our angular material is working fine or not. For that, you can go to app.component.html and you can paste some element code of the material. In my case, I am adding the code for the mat toolbar. Let's save and let's go to our browser. And as you can see, we got the mat toolbar. So this means that our Angular material is working fine. After the installation of Angular material, let's create the required modules. And for the creation of the required modules, we need a query. And you can get this query from angular.io slash guide. You can uh, copy this command and let's go to our application and click on new terminal and uh, paste that query. Let's uh, remove S from the end. And uh, this query will basically create a new module and it will automatically set up the routing for the module as well. Now let's hit enter. And as you can see, we got the customer module in our app folder. And when you open this uh, customer package and you can see some important files required for the module. Now uh, let's copy this command and create the admin module. So instead of customer, we'll replace this with admin. And as you can see, we got our admin module as well. Now, now uh, let's create login and sign up components as well. To create uh, the login component, we can give the command ng, g for generate, c for component. And then after this, we need to give the name for the component. And in our case, the component name is login. Let's click on enter. And as you can see, we got our login component as well. Now uh, let's uh, copy this command and replace the login with sign up. We got our sign up component as well. Now uh, let's go to app.routing.module.ts and let's mention the paths for these two components. So we'll write path. And here we'll mention login and we'll write if the path is login then the angular should load the login component let's uh, duplicate this and let's update the path to sign up and let's update the component to sign up as well Let's now save. After adding the paths, uh, let's go to our application.component.html and paste the code for our router outlet. Router outlet will allow the Angular to show the required component. And as you can see, when I pasted the toolbar code, I already added a router outlet for our login and our sign up component. So uh, let's save this and verify the output in the browser. And in the browser, let's click on login. And as you can see, we got login works. And this means that our routing is working fine. Now let's click on register and this changes to sign up works. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will work on the spring security in our backend application.